another question that was asked in the gate economics paper of 2021 was and the question is uh, Trisha's consumption preference on biryani that is denoted by x and puddling that is denoted by y is given by the utility function u of x y is equal to x plus 4 y this is the utility function of the Trisha. The price per unit of biryani is given as 2 rupees and the price per unit of puddling is given as 3 rupees. Trisha's total income is given as 120. However, she faces an extra in quantity constraint as she is not allowed to consume biryani more than 60 units and puddling uh, more than 30 units. The optimum quantity of biryani and puddling consumed by Trisha is so we are given four options uh, that is 30, 50, uh, 50, 30, 30, 20 and 60, 0. We have to see which of these options is the optimum quantity of biryani and puddling for Trisha. Okay. So this is the linear programming problem and we will solve it graphically. That means we have to maximize. This is the problem of maximization and we are given the constraints here. So first of all, that means we have to maximize this. That is, we have to maximize the utility that is x plus 4y. Okay. Now, what are our constraints? Uh, price per unit of biryani is 2 and price per unit of purling is 30. That means 3 is, sorry, it is 2. Uh, subject to the constraint that is 2 times the units of biryani that is x plus 3 which is the price of purling times the units of purling are to be consumed which is denoted by y and our budget constraint is given as it should be less or equal to 120 this is our first constraint another constraint which is which uh, the trisha faces is given as that is she is not allowed to consume biryani more than 60 units so that means next constraint is she can't uh, consume more than 60 units of biryani that means uh, number of units consumed should be less or equal to 60 of biryani similarly the number of units of puddling consumed should be less or equal to 30 okay we have to find the optimal solution to this problem so how will uh, we find the optimal solution first of all we will convert the inequalities into equalities that means uh, so I will write it here. We have to maximize utility which is x plus 4y subject to the constraint uh, 2x plus 3y is equal to 120. So first we convert all inequalities into equalities and another constraint is x is equal to 60 and y is equal to 30 this is the first step in solving the linear programming problem by graphical method after that we take this first constraint and graph it out then take second constraint and third constraint and graph them correspondingly now how will we graph this we will find the value of x and zero here sorry x and y here so for first we have 2x so first i will draw the graph to save the space then okay this is uh, this uh, horizontal axis denotes the units of biryani and this vertical axis the units of puddling so we will solve uh, this very constraint first this is 2x plus 3y is equal to 120 now we first put x is equal to 0 put x is equal to 0 then 3y is equal to 120 or y is equal to 40 implies y is equal to 40 so our point is 0 40 second uh, we put y is equal to 0 then 2x is equal to 120 that means 2 so i will write put 
y is equal to 0 when we put y is equal to 0 in this so this uh, whole uh, term becomes 0 2x is equal to 120 implies x is equal to 60 so our new point is 60 and 0 okay so we draw this constraint here we have so i will write here this is 10 20 30 40 50 60 and 70 let us say this is 10 20 30 40 50 60 and let us say it is 70 okay so we draw the first constraint 2x plus 3y is equal to 120 so we get x, uh, the first point is uh, 0 40 that means we have to take here this is 40 on y axis and 0 on x axis so this is the one point similarly another point is 60 0 that is on uh, x axis we have to uh, run 60 units so this is 60 and 0 unit is up so this is our first constraint okay now we are given the two constraints x is equal to 60 so our new when x is equal to 60 our line would look like this this is x is equal to 60 now y is equal to 30 so the graph for y is equal to 30 is will be parallel to x axis so this is like this so we draw the three constraints on the graph okay after that what will we do we will find the feasible uh, sorry feasible region feasible uh, region is a region which is uh, a common region determined by all the constraints so this is constraint 1 2 and 3 the common region of all these uh, three constraints uh, is the feasible a feasible region that means this very region would be the feasible region our solution will be uh, in this feasible region so this is the feasible region for this problem because as I told you feasible region is a region which is common region determined by all the constraints okay so the common uh, area of all the constraints gives us the feasible region okay now uh, we will uh, use the corner point method in finding the optimal solution to this problem so the optimal solution of this problem will lie on the corner pointers uh, of these uh, feasible region so our corner po corner pointers is let us say this is o this is a this is b and this is c so our optimal solution will lie on the corner pointers okay now here we know the coordinate of o is 0 0 so i will write 0 0 the coordinates here is the co the the coordinates of a is here 0 30 the coordinates of c are 60 and 0 so we will find the co uh, coordinate of b first now this uh, b point is formed by the intersection of uh, this constraint that is uh, 2x plus 3y is equal to 120 so this line and y is equal to 30 so these two points will give us uh, sorry these two constraints will give us the coordinates of b but we know uh, one coordinate is 30 we have to find the another coordinate the value of x so we will solve these two inequal uh, these two equations now when y is equal to 60 we put the value sorry y is equal to 30 we put this in uh, the first constraint so this is 2x 2x plus 3 times the value of y is 30 is equal to 120 or 2x is equal to 3 30 is 90 so 120 minus 90 is 30 implies x is equal to 30 divided by 2 which is equal to 15 so uh, here it is 15 so the coordinates of this point are 
15 and 30 okay so we got uh, the coordinates of all the pointers we will see which of these uh, coordinates will maximize our uh, utility function which is the objective function here so our corner points are so our pointers are o a b c o a b c the value of o is 0 0 the value of a is 0 30 the value of b is 15 30 uh, 15 30 and the value of c is 60 and 0 so we will put these values uh, in the objective function that is x plus 4 y we will put and we will we will see which of these uh, which among these uh, coordinates will maximize our utility now when we put uh, x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 so here it is 0 now when x is equal to 0 y is equal to 30 so it, this is 4 into 30 which is 120 so we will get here uh, 120 now when we put x is equal to 15 so here it is 15 plus 4 into 30 30 that is 120 which is equal to 135 uh, in the last we have x is equal to 60 uh, plus 4 times it is 0 so we will get 60 and we can easily see that this point that is point b will uh, rather optimal give us the optimal values of this very function because uh, the maximum the maximum uh, solution from the maximization here we see the maximum possible value is 135 which occurs at a point b that is at point b 1530 so uh, the optimum quantity of the biryani and puddling consumed by trisha will be 5030 so i guess uh, this very option that is the option b is correct i hope i make myself clear in this video so thank you